salty people. Uh, welcome back. So I got a, I got a fun video, or not a fun one, but I guess a really useful one maybe. Um, I want to talk about the airway clearance and what my favorite is, what my favorite method is. And I'd love to hear what you guys, what your favorite is. Um, I know the standard, of course, is the best, right? Um, so I have one here. And uh, this baby. And I have used this for a long time. Um, I've used that since I was probably eight, nine years old, uh, maybe even before that. But everyone uses the best. I used to have the big one, right? So it was like 30 pounds. You lug that thing in the car, you know? But um, what I don't like about the best is one, it never really made me cough. Um, and now it's better. It has the Minnesota protocol. Uh, that's kind of the standard. And if you guys don't know what that is, I'll actually put a link for that down below. But the Minnesota protocol is like what the recommended uh, settings are for your frequency, your pressure, and... Um, your, your time, how much you do, it's usually 30 minutes. But it's based on what feels comfortable to you. So that's that's awesome as well. Uh, not like a one size fits all type thing. But, um, so that's nice, but the, it never really made me cough. Now, I do cough a little bit whenever they hit, they encourage you to you know, huff cough now. So after you like the five minutes of whatever setting, you stop and you do a couple huff coughs, and then that actually helps. But I have other methods that I prefer that are even better for me. Uh, I call a lot more up. So let me get to that. Um, in college, they introduced the acapella. Now, you guys might already know what that is. It's pretty popular among the handheld devices, but this is the acapella. Um, I think I actually said acapella right there. But uh, so the idea is you breathe in, take a big, deep breath, and you hold it. And then you blow out steadily. And when you do that, you're blowing into this device and it's, sh it's sending vibration back down in your lungs and shaking all this stuff up. So therefore, it's easy to cough it up, right? So it's something like this. And the key with all these handheld devices is you don't want your cheeks to go big. You don't want to go... Want to keep them in, so um, so then you can you can change it. So once you need more resistance, once it's it feels too easy, you always want to feel a little bit of tension or resistance, and that's how you kind of know that it's it's strong enough that's going to get in down into your lungs and kind of shake stuff up. Because um, if it's just if it's easy to you, it's real light, then it's just going to go and kind of fizz out. But um, here's the resistance on the back, and you can turn this dial on how much resistance you want. Um, so this was my favorite in college because I hated it in the vest, um, and it's 30 minutes long, the vest is, and you know, you're sitting there even if you're going to read a textbook or if you're going to play video games, you're still going, <laughs> and so it's like annoying. I mean, it's fun, like an uh, entertainment thing for your family, like, hey, guys, but no. So anyway. Acapella was the way to go in college. Since then, I have two more devices I want to show you that are my favorite. Um, but as far as being in the hospital, my favorite is always the IPV. I don't know if you guys have heard of it or not, but in the hospital that I went to, it was a little box, and it has frequency, and it has pressure, and then it has tubes that come out and goes into a mouthpiece. And you always have saline in it. Uh, you can put your, your albuterol on, I'm not sure what else, but you can put those things in it. And it, it does the same thing, except it's a machine. So that's awesome to me, because no matter how sick you are or how healthy you are, you're going to get the same treatment every time, because it's going to be consistent. So uh, that, you know, it's me you know, mechanically shove air, and it's, it's like a frequency, like the vest. So it shoves air down into your lungs and breaks that stuff up. Um, and then you put your albuterol in it as well. So you're going to open your, your lungs up with a bronchodilator as, at the same time. Um, so that was my favorite. That was the most effective. And for those of you are trying to get an IPV at home, good luck. It's super hard. Um, I tried it for a long time, and I actually had like a lot of proof that I my lung function went up more in the hospital when I used the IPV rather than when I did the vest. Um, so my insurance actually let me have one at home, and I got it, and it was like 
this like big box, kind of like the vest, uh, you carry it around and stuff. But um, it's still had the tubes and still had the mouthpiece, so it's half the pressure. I mean, in the hospital, you have like it's on the wall, it come out of the wall, it's like heavy duty stuff. This, the PSI was too low, um, not enough pressure, and it really didn't do anything for me at home. So I actually sent it back. Um, so if you know you're trying to get one at home, you've been warned. Uh, they might have made new ones. That was two and a half, three years ago. So they might have made new ones since then that are that's better. I don't know, but uh, that was, that always was a struggle. So what else did I use? Um, I use the Aerobica, and this is a rather new one. Um, it looks like this, and um, I like it a lot. It's uh, good resistance, and the thing that I like about it more than the Acapella is one. I feel like the resistance to me is more. It's more effective. Uh, the acapella, the only thing that comes apart is the mouthpiece. Um, so, and I, I had another uh, design of this that I heard wasn't very popular, but it actually like pulled apart. But you can't really clean it that well. You can boil it, I think, and you can put it in dish soap, but it's going to be hard to get in all those little grooves. So I wasn't that impressed with that. But uh, with the Arabica, this thing comes apart like no other. Um, and right here is where the resistance is. So, you know, go to minus, and that's going to be the easiest, and you go to plus, and it's going to be the hardest. Um, but yeah, so the mouthpiece comes apart, and then the top is a lid, and it comes off, and this is just the tunnels of how it works. And then this little piece comes out, and this is the, the device itself and how it works, and here is the little bottom. Um, so obviously, this is easy to take apart, and it's easy to wash um, and it's what I use when I'm having bad days so any day that I feel kind of cruddy or I don't feel very energetic and kind of fatigued tired I uh, I use this and it works the same way so uh, I forgot what setting I was on I showed you guys but anyway so I put it on a certain setting and then I take a breath in I hold it and I breathe out and the, the thing with all these devices that are handheld, you want to breathe in and hold your breath and then you want to breathe out as steady as you can and um, for longer than you breathe in. So the idea is like say you breathe in for one second, you're well you want to breathe out for three to four seconds. I've always heard three to four times longer than you breathe in. So I'd be like And uh, lately, with lower lung function, it's actually harder to do that. But um, but yeah, so I like this a lot. Now, my favorite of all time is the RC Cornet. Now, you guys can get a chuckle at this one. But uh, it looks very funny. It sounds very funny, but it's very effective. Um, so this is what it is. So this is what it looks like. And this is the mouthpiece. And then here's just ventilation, I guess. But um, so as you can see right here, it has the resistance and this is the first notch. And then as it gets bigger, um, it's more resistance. So I'm only on about the second notch now. And that's pretty, pretty good. Like when I wake up, I usually have to start one notch less uh, because when I wake up, my lungs aren't as good. So that's awesome because that means that even when, if I get healthier than I am now, if I, uh, you know, can breathe better or the lung function goes up, this will still be effective for me. So like the acapella, it's not that effective for me because unless I'm sick, I don't get the resistance that I need to have a productive cough and really, um, you know, get whatever you want to call it, but get the most benefit from it. Uh, the Arabica, it seems like it's more resistance than the acapella, so I do enjoy that. But uh, yeah, this is by far my favorite. Um, works the same way. You're going to breathe in and then you hold it and then you breathe out. Now, my all-time theory is that I think laughing is the best airway clearance. You find a funny movie, you, your friends, and you start laughing, you're bound to start coughing. Um, and that's always been my favorite, of course. But uh, besides laughing, I think the best airway clearance method is PFTs. I don't know about you guys, but when I do PFTs, I always have a productive cough after those. Um, so I try to mimic PFTs when I use this. 
Um, so I, you know, I blow out or I suck in real deep and I blow out real hard and I try to make it go as long as I can. So this is what it sounds like. And then I'm not going to keep doing it, but uh, blow out as long as you can. And, you know, keep your lips or not your lips, but your cheeks in. And uh, they told me even hold your cheeks if you, if you need to, to remind you. But yeah, guys, and uh, this is awesome. It's very easy to clean. Um, this comes out, and this is just a tube. Um, so just a tube. But anyway, this comes out, and this is rubber sleeve. Um, and it comes off this little mouthpiece, but it's kind of hard to put back on, so I'm going to do it. But uh, anyway, this comes with it, and this is just a little plastic piece. And you put it in here like this, and so it keeps the sleeve open. So therefore, you can boil it, or you can wash it in Dawn soap, or anything like that, um, and it's going to get completely clean. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, that's it. So yeah, guys, that's called the RC Cornet. So um, check it out, and I'm going to try to include links uh, in the description below. Uh, for all the company's um, websites but um, yeah if you guys are tired of doing whatever airway clearance you do right now or you know CPT is one um, and that works for you that's great but if you guys feel like it's not benefiting you as much or or there's some uh, method that you'd like to try differently like I said I have my good days where I use this mostly and I have my bad days where I use the Aerobeacon mostly so uh, that's very handy if I get real sick uh, I use a vest, so if I don't feel like blowing into anything, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll use a vest. But um, these take me about 10 minutes to do, by the way. The vest, you know, is about 30 minutes. But um, if I do this, it's about 10 to 15 minutes tops. And the way I do it is I do three sets of 10 to 12 blows. So I'll take a deep breath in and blow out uh, 10 times, and then I'll, I'll stop. If I haven't coughed yet, I'll uh, go ahead and do my huff cough and try to bring stuff up and then I'll kind of rest and I'll do it again two more times um, or two sets not two breaths but um, anyway yeah so I just want to share with you guys what I like what I think works best for me uh, and hopefully you guys will now have some some more ideas for airway clearance if you uh, if you decide you want to try something new all right guys if you haven't already subscribe down below and uh, go ahead and leave comments if you'd like in the comment section see you guys later bye